Hello, my beautiful Gemini Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your June 1st through 15th, 2024 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to join you, and hopefully you can uh, take advantage of this 20% off summer kickoff energy as we move into this summer of 2024 follow the instructions that are listed here there are a simple instructions but uh it they're just little steps to to help you put the code in so i hope you all have a beautiful energy going let's see what else we have with the cards we've got the seven of pentacles and the fool always a welcome energy your investment of time and energy is is really ripening on the vine here. It's already paying off. It just hasn't been able to be plucked yet. It's not harvest time, but the bounty is there, well taken care of and in good hands. You've got the energy of the fool, which is always a welcome energy, especially in, an, in the beginning of a reading because we're talking about the energy that sets the tone for the entire thing. As the fool moves through, it is the beginning of the tarot major arcana. It is the zero, which is the endless cycle that we go through. Now we level up on each one, and that's part of the whole thing is closing the door to the past so that you can move forward without any baggage trailing along behind you. So let's see what else we have, my darlings. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. <clears throat> divine spirit, we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is the energy of something being extended to you, whether it's an offer or some assistance. It's, and it can even be somebody telling you how valuable you are to them or how much they care and love you. So very solid, heartfelt energy coming in here with that fool still moving. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have Scorpio Major Arcana, the death card, clearing the way. This is cleansing, clearing, purging. This is the cosmic garbage man coming in to take out all the things that are blocking you and have a fresh, clean start with that beautiful new blossom, sowing the seeds for new beginnings. We have the Gemini, beautiful energy of the Two of Cups. I, I always refer this because it is that twin energy that you've got going on. But this is also the mega mind energy of the, the ability to have your higher self be filtering all the ego stuff out. And if that's the ascension energy for you, some, you know, remember, everybody's got a different thing going on. So I'm going to give multiple reading or multiple energy on which one of these it is if it applies to you then that's you ascending into a higher frequency letting your soul drive the bus and if it's a relationship whether it's your family relationship or or a partnership in business or a personal relationship this is the energy of everybody focusing on the same goal even if sometimes it may feel like everybody's in business for their self ultimately we're going to come back to this energy of everybody working together. So yay, Team Gemini. We have the world card, which is ascension energy. It is definitely a lift up. So you're talking about being able to level up here. It's a promotion or being uh, in a place of empowerment. It's very, very beautiful energy because you do feel like a champion here. The world card is a vortex that you're stepping through, just like when the fool showed up. Now, we have the energy of the Six of Swords saying you're going in the right direction and you're getting divine guidance. As long as you're open to your intuition, you'll be able to follow that instinct. So we love that. Going in the right direction is a good thing. And in your household energy, there's a little bit of tension and maybe something new coming in that you felt like you're kind of walking a tightrope on. Don't overthink this. These, these thoughts have nothing backing them. This is all her. 
And so if you focus on worry, you're going to manifest it. So let's let that go and know that the universe has your back. And anytime something new comes in, we're always in that place of apprehension when we first step into it because it's something unknown to us. It's okay. Ooh, it looks like we're getting some financial stability coming in here. We like that. The king of pentacles is absolutely large and in charge. So the masculine energy of being able to hold down that money is actually here. And it's also earth sign energy. It could be Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, major arcana in your household. Then we've got the two of swords. Again, it's telling you, you must trust the universe. This is not a logic thing. You can't outthink it. You just have to move in your quantum energy and manifest it, keeping that vision alive within you and, and going within, doing your meditations and knowing that miracles happen every day. The universe is paying attention. All you have to do is trust the universe and let yourself focus on where you want it to be directed. Now we have the nine of wands. This is the breakthrough energy in the career and finance area. It means you're poised for the breakthrough any second. You're on the cutting edge for it, which means it's going to happen very quickly when it does. So be ready. And we have the devil card, Capricorn Major Arcana. This is the energy of a couple of different things. Most of the time when it's in the work area, it's either Someone who really vexes you and may be very um, narcissistic or controlling or manipulative. It can also be you self-sabotaging. So you have to watch that in this, in this energy. It is the Capricorn Major Arcana, as I said. Now we have the Four of Cups, which is an offer or assistance coming in from Divine. This is a blessing in a brown paper bag, which means you have to fully vet it before you say no to it. Don't don't just jump and go, oh, no, that's not for me. It may be described incorrectly to you. So you want to dig in a little and see what the details are. Oh, I flipped two cards. So let me correct that. We have the two of rods, which is the energy of going forward, but getting to choose the path. The path is flexible. It does mean both of these come out virtually at the same spot, but the journey will be different and you want to make sure you are comfortable with that part because you're the one that's going to second guess yourself if you're not it's it's all good there's no wrong answer just don't don't go with somebody else's idea make sure it aligns with you if that's the case now we have the justice card which is the libra major arcana this is the energy of right decisions being made by you and for you and i want to show you the similarity here of these two cards. So this is where it's saying brain power, left brain is not going to do this. You can't, you don't know when, where, how, or what, but you know you're creating it. So stay in the creative mind. When you're staying in the creative mind, you see how that's illuminated. You can actually focus on the goal you're choosing. She's still got a blindfold on, but this blindfold is only to keep her from looking at the natural and, and saying, oh, well, it's not here yet. So that means it doesn't exist. So it's blocking her from, from seeing anything contrary to what she's focusing on. And she's laser focused on the goal. So you see the similarity in the design and in the positioning of the person. Very, very cool connection there. I like to show that when it comes out. And the high priestess, above all, allow yourself to listen to your intuition and follow your inner guidance, but surrender your resistance when it comes in in a way that you don't expect. Sometimes we'll question it because it's not what we envisioned. It's okay. The universe has a better idea, I promise you. If it's bringing it to you in a different way, it's got an idea that, that you haven't considered or weren't capable of acting on. Now we've got the underlier, which is the four of pentacles, beautiful energy, because the four of pentacles is all about being in that place of stability and financial security with money in the bank. What a wonderful feeling that is. And we have our clarifiers. We begin with the chariot. What a great start. This is the energy of upgrade, success, going further than you thought possible 
And in the energy of the limelight, it is the Hollywood card. It is a big, big deal, y'all. A BFD. So being in this energy is illuminating your possibilities. It's also the Cancer Major Arcana. But in this case, we're talking about notoriety and being lifted up, which we've been talking about a lot in this reading. So it's very nice energy. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Gemini, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we had a little clump of volunteers that came out. Resurrection energy. This is the energy of the judgment card and Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection, bringing this to a place of restoring itself or something reactivating that you thought was no longer going to be an option or that it was off the table. It is now rejuvenated in this energy. We have the eight of pentacles. So this is methodically working in a place of mastery where you're learning new skills. It may be on the job training. It is absolutely uh, collecting the ability to earn more abundance through this knowledge. So we like that eight of pentacles energy showing up. We have the two of rods, as we saw earlier here in the near future. Now it's in this core of the reading. And that's the way you proceed after you've you've leveled up. This is the energy of you choosing which 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 of those two options you're going to take. Neither are wrong. You just have to be in agreement with what you're choosing. And we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is the dump truck load of blessings. This is where you feel a little overwhelmed because you're launching forward with this new energy and absolutely in alignment with what you need. So we love that energy as it comes in. Being in a place where all things are in excess means you have to work methodically to work your way through it. You don't have to finish it all in one shot. Take it and break it up a piece at a time. Now, you've got this two of swords in your energy, in your household, two times. So that's an echo. This is the energy of reminding you it doesn't have to make sense and it doesn't have to be true for anyone else. It's your truth and you're manifesting it. And that is all. There's no set rule to this. And you, you've you got to get out of your fear mind and into your focused mind. What do you want? What's the outcome you see? Stay in that energy. You don't have to know how. Just let the universe work it for you. Well, it looks like it's doing a fine job because there's that chariot that showed up earlier. Now it's in the position of this king of pentacles. So very solid energy coming in, allowing you to have this upgrade. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And we have the knight of swords. All of a sudden, out of the blue, all will be made known. This is that moment where you get that notification. And it's very fast moving energy because it is swords and it's on horseback. We have the four of rods here in the career and finance. So the stability is here. You have a new new way forward. Very good communication and solid foundation. So that's a good place to be in your career and your finances. Again, the world card stepping up out of that fear or self-doubt or whatever's going on with that devil card into the energy of the world where you're showing here. The success is here. You're dancing through the doorway leaving that old past energy behind. Hello, what do you say? It'll be worth it. There's the 10 of cups. So you've got this offer coming in that doesn't quite meet your, your expectations, but please check it out because there is that 10 of cups, which is divine harmony, happiness, joy, abundance, all good things showing up absolutely fabulously. So check every offer before you say no. Now, when we're in this energy, the five of cups, sometimes we're in a place of regret or fear or working through something from the past where we feel like we made a mistake. 
we don't want to get ourselves caught up in thinking in the past if we're going to choose these two options going forward. You can't look backwards and move forwards at the same time. If you do, you're going to fall over something eventually. So let go of the past. It's time to move forward. And the universe has already provided you with what you need to do so. The past is dead energy, guys. We can't go back and, and start from the past to make anything right. If you want to make something different happen, you've got to do it from here forward. You can't go backwards. Now, while you're in a place where you're in the position of creating, you also want to restore and renew. This is the Four of Swords reminding you your tank is running a little empty. That's the energy of, you know, refuel, reset, recharge. And the beautiful high priestess is where we have to put our mindset and allow ourselves to go with the flow. Just like in that two of swords energy where she's got the blindfold on and that um, justice card where she's got a blindfold on. The eight of swords also has a blindfold on. The reason is she's got her arms secured so that she can't reach for these options that aren't quite fully manifest yet. And she's got to let the universe do its part. So focus inward while all of the little options are moving. This is not your move, just like chess. You've got to let the universe set it up for you. Then you make your move. And that's why we're going to be in a place of trusting the universe with that high priestess. So don't overthink it. You'll just exhaust yourself. You're already being told to refill. You don't have the energy to get too frayed out in all directions. And you've got a notification here of the page of rods. A beautiful energy, allowing you to move forward with all that you need in this beautiful page is giving you the information on how to do so. So we love that combination with that four of pentacles. So it's somebody reaching out, giving you what you need in order for you to make progress. So my Geminis, I love you guys. Don't forget, we have daily affirmations. We have weekly readings. We have memberships. You can join down at the bottom. There's a different levels. Um, if you want to support my channel and you don't want to do a reading, you can do it through the, the memberships down below. It's only $5 a month. And that's my way of not taking a donation, but allowing some support. And I exchange uh, giving that the daily reading for it. So I hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you so much as always for, for supporting me in this endeavor. I have been able to make my livelihood in this and I never would have thought this was, would be something I would be successful at. Um, thank you so much. You guys literally have changed my life and I hope that I'm helping you change yours for the better. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Namaste.